do 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 I can't take my eyes off the view. Isn't that lovely? There it is, a live view looking over the landscape of Shropshire. And yes, we are now as live as live can be. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? I'm really happy today. I am so excited. I am full of beans. I am as happy as a sand boy. <laughs> I have no idea what a sand boy is. I just hope it isn't anything rude. So here we go again. Oh my goodness. There are two types of English teacher on YouTube. There is me and then there's everyone else. And that might give you an idea of the sort of thing I normally do here on YouTube. I teach English to the world and I have been doing so for nearly 13 years i'm not joking and can you believe it during that time youtube has never given me any award i've had no awards whatsoever from youtube which makes me feel a little down in the mouth hmm anyway not to worry about that as long as you are here that is the most important thing of all but look look behind me it's beautiful today. We have a lovely summer's day. It's also a long public holiday weekend. So everyone is going to have Monday off from work. So it is a long weekend. A lot of people now relaxing. Some people will be going away for the weekend for a lovely trip. And the best thing of all is that the weather is going to be fantastic today tomorrow and also Monday as well we are in for a lovely warm weekend the only slightly annoying thing is that I keep being attacked by flies which is slightly annoying but on the other hand everything else is fantastic and I hope you are feeling good today as well it is a special time of year here in the UK of course it is now August and normally at this time of year the farmers will start collecting in the harvest they will start doing their harvesting and there you can see in the distance yesterday I saw one of the farmers that lives nearby he was gathering his crop and there you can see in the distance something called a combine harvester a very useful piece of equipment so at the moment near to where I live there are many farmers gathering their crops they are literally making hay whilst the Sun shines now that is a well-known expression if you make hay while the Sun shines it means you do something at the appropriate time you take your chance whilst you have it you make hay whilst the sun shines and that is literally happening all around me at the moment because it is harvest season here in the UK so many farmers are taking advantage of the beautiful weather we're having at the moment and they are all gathering in their crops as you can see as usual I have my super duper cup of coffee today I had to make my own because Steve was busy he was on the roof repairing some some cracks in the roof so that's what mr steve is doing so sadly i had to make my own cup of coffee can you believe it this is how bad things have become i have to make my own hot beverage hmm excuse me a moment i would now like to drink some of my coffee if you have a hot drink or maybe a cold drink in front of you right now feel free to drink with me cheers everyone and long life <laughs> i'm going to have my coffee now hmm 
Ooh. I will say one thing. I make the best cup of coffee in the whole world. Whenever we have any work done here at the house, the person doing the work always says, Duncan, can you please make the coffee? Because Steve makes terrible coffee. So when, whenever anyone comes to the house to do some work, they always like to have my coffee and not Mr. Steve's. So, so there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, goodness me, that is delicious. I must say, everything is looking rather nice today, don't you think? Lot, lots of colour. And can you see behind me, there is also a sunflower. Can you see the sunflower? It is actually a real sunflower growing in the garden. So at this time of year, you will see lots of these particular plants. This is a sunflower. And as you can see, it looks all happy and cheerful, just like the sun. I hope you've had a good week. It's been a busy one for me. I was up until very late last night preparing for today's live stream. Lots of technical things. And as usual, thanks to Mr. Steve, I am standing under my lovely gazebo in the garden. So I am safe from the harsh sunlight so I won't get sunburned and my risk of skin cancer is now very low because of it so thank you very much Mr Steve for saving my life once again shall we have a look at the live chat oh hello to everyone on the live chat don't worry I haven't forgotten you so hello to Alam Gear. hello Alam Gear. guess what you are first on the live stream so I have to give you a special round of applause. Can you see that? Even the sunflower is waving to you. Do you remember in the 1980s, there, there used to be some flowers, some little plastic flowers, and they would dance whenever you played music. So this reminds me of those little flowers you used to get in the 1980s. Do you remember them? And they would dance like that. So every time you played music, they would start dancing <laughs> like that. Isn't that lovely? So there, that is a real sunflower. It isn't a plastic one. It is a genuine sunflower. Thank you also to JC Geordie, who says, good morning. Is it still morning where you are? Well, I hope you are having a lovely morning where you are. Also, Louis Mendez. Hello, Louis Mendez. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Julie G is here. Also, Maz. Maz Khan. Hello to you as well. If it is your first time here today, don't forget to tell me. Don't forget to say, Mr. Duncan, it is my first time here. C Pearl is here as well. Thank you, C Pearl. Nice to see you here. This is just a short live stream today. Of course, tomorrow I will be back as well. For those wondering, here are the times. Here are the times for my live streams. Saturday, 12 p.m. midday, UK time. And I will be back tomorrow as well at 2 p.m. UK time. And every Wednesday there is a new full English lesson as well. So you can actually watch a full English lesson every Wednesday, a recorded lesson, no less. And if you would like to get in touch, you can follow me on Facebook. You can also email me as well. And if you want to make a donation to allow my work to continue forever and ever and ever... You are more than welcome to do so as well. So thanks a lot in advance for your lovely donation. And that's the view at the moment. It's looking lovely here in the UK. I hope where you are, everything is OK as well. It's super duper. It's really nice to be here today. Would you like to have a look at some more little views? Here we go. So first of all, in the garden at the moment, my lovely Dunculus, there it is, is looking very lovely. 
and lots of wasps and bees are currently flying around them <laughs> actually they're, they're also flying around me <laughs> as well <laughs> as I mentioned the wasp then a wasp actually landed on my arm I don't want to get stung by a wasp to be honest so there you can see in the garden the lovely dunculus and also yes as I mentioned earlier it is harvest time at the moment and there you can see one of the fields one of the crops waiting to be gathered by the farmer so yes it is harvest time in this area so I think in many parts of the world especially if it is very warm if you are having the summer season at the moment you might find that in your area the farmers are also gathering in the crops look at that isn't that beautiful I don't know what it is whenever I see a lovely cornfield or a wheat field I always get very excited and there once again in the distance you can see one of the combine harvesters gathering in the crop we might have a look at that again later on so lots of things going on around me in fact as I'm standing here now you might you actually might be able to hear one of the combine harvesters behind me because there is a field very close to where I live hello to Farah Farah Ubelkas hello to you and thanks for joining me today in my garden we are now live from England at 15 minutes past midday I don't know what time it is where you are hello also to Nagwa Nagwa Asama hello to you thanks for joining me my name is Duncan and I teach English on YouTube because I know on Saturday a lot of people tend to click around the internet so for those who are dropping by and if it's your first time here don't be shy give it a try say hello on the live chat don't worry I don't bite much also we have grow up grow up hello I haven't seen you for a long time on the live stream Samaya Al Samadi says hello Mr Duncan from Dubai this is the second time for me but my problem is when I listen to someone speak English I can't speak well it sounds once again as if you have a problem with confidence now a lot of people think that learning English is just about remembering words but it isn't there is a lot more involved when it comes to learning any language and one of the biggest problems can come when it becomes the moment where you have to speak for the first time so having confidence to actually speak or reply is something that you have to practice over a long period of time like anything when you do something for the first time it can be very frightening it can be very scary but the more you do it the more confident you become and as I've mentioned before if you want to get used to actually talking a good way to practice is by looking at yourself in the mirror so get used to the sound of your own voice you can also record your voice as well so don't worry confidence is something that will grow over time it will grow Hassan Akuas says I am new here hello Hassan Akuas so I suppose I should give you a round of applause congratulations you are the first time here for you oh well I will try to be gentle with you that's all I can say also we have Palmyra hello Palmyra apparently Palmyra is in a hotel at the moment and it's very noisy so hello to Palmyra who is a lady by the way it is very noisy in the hotel reception and I have no headphones well all I can say is turn up the volume turn up the sound on your phone so everyone in the hotel can enjoy my live stream I think that's a very good idea so you have two outcomes to that situation everyone will either love it or 
you will get kicked out of the hotel. So you have two choices there. Anna Sclosi says, hello, Mr. Duncan from Milan in Italy. Have a beautiful Saturday. Saturday is fantastic. This Saturday is lovely. I'm really enjoying it so far. And after the live stream, we are going into town to have something to eat. I'm not sure what it is at the moment, but we are going to have our lunch in town today. Aya Mohet says, I am new here and I am from Somalia. Please help me. I don't know speaking. You can say, I don't know how to speak. Please help me, Mr. Duncan. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to speak. Well, you are in the best place because I am here to help you. And I hope I am doing a good job. I really do. Amtel, Mr. Duncan, what is the difference between program and program? Well, as you can see on the screen, if you are looking at the live chat, you can see that there are some different spellings there. Thank you for your question. I think that's a very interesting question, in fact. So let's have a look, shall we? So there you can see two words, program and program. So they are actually pronounced in the same way. However, the first use of program is actually American English. So in American English, that is how you will spell the word. But the meaning of both words is actually exactly the same. There is no difference whatsoever. And then we have the second spelling of program, and that is British English. However, <laughs> and this is where it gets very confusing, you can actually use both of these spellings in British English. You can actually use both of these spellings in British English. So even though this one is American English and this one is British English, <laughs> in British English, you can actually use both of them. They are both acceptable. So just to confuse everyone even more, <laughs> those words can actually be spelt both ways in British English but the first spelling is normally used in American English and the definitions are exactly the same regardless of which language you are actually using so I hope that answers your question Amtel thank you very much for your lovely question there on the live stream and do you like the way I had it prepared? I had that actually prepared. It's almost as if I knew what you were going to ask. Am I psychic? Can I see into the future? No, no, I can't actually. No, I'm not psychic and I can't see into the future. Hey, Tham says hello from Egypt. Hello to you as well. Oh, don't forget you can have live captions as well. Live subtitles. All you have to do is press that on your computer screen. So there it is. So press this button and you can have live captions, live subtitles. You can see everything I'm saying live. Isn't it amazing? I love technology so much. Hello also to you, Sam or Yusman. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I am Adriana from Torino. Have a beautiful day and have a nice coffee. My coffee is nice. And the main reason why it's nice is because I made it. Because I make the best cup of coffee in the world. I really do. You should come round and try my coffee sometime. You should. Oman Hatem says, crazy boy. Are you talking about me? Are you saying I'm crazy? Hello, Bincy, Bincy and George. Hello to you. I haven't seen you here before. Is it your first time, Bincy? If it is, please tell me and then I might I might give you something special. I might give you a round of applause or maybe some super duper fireworks. 
it depends how I'm feeling mr. Duncan can you tell us what the topic in what topic mr. Steve is better than you Steve is very good at being methodical so one thing that Steve is very good at but I'm not very good at is being methodical that's a great word by the way if you are methodical it means you are very good at arranging things you are very good at planning ahead you write things down you make notes of when you are going to do things you are very methodical you do things very precisely me I'm definitely not methodical I'm not very good at planning things I'm not very good at arranging things and sometimes I can be a little lazy Wow that's quite a thing to confess to don't you think so that is one big confession so sometimes I can be a little bit lazy but I'm not very methodical however I am very good at solving problems so if a problem comes my way and I have to sort it out quickly I am very good at doing that so somehow my brain can sort problems out very quickly but I'm not very good at planning ahead so I don't write things down in advance sometimes I like to do things on the spur of the moment sometimes I like to do things without too much preparation so yes I think mr. Steve is very methodical he thinks things through very carefully whilst I am not very methodical I'm not very good at it I'm not very good at organizing things however I am very good at solving problems mr. Steve however isn't he is terrible at solving problems sometimes he gets very angry he loses his cool whereas I stay calm and collected I don't lose my temper I don't blow my top I stay all calm and relaxed isn't that nice also we have oh hello Julie I think I've said hello to you already I'm not sure Helena hello Helena as well nice to see you here today Simona says hello what's up guys I tell you what's up today what's up is we are having the most amazing summer day here in the UK and everyone is having a long weekend because there is no work on Monday so we are having a long public holiday this weekend I don't know why <laughs> don't ask me why it's, it's not a special public holiday I think it's just just random it's just one that they've decided to have mr. Duncan your garden is looking good I think so yes the garden is looking rather nice at the moment would you like to have a closer look there it is look at that so yes everything is looking rather nice right now in the garden mr. Steve was very busy last week in the garden he was trimming the bushes he was cutting the grass he was doing all sorts of things so mr. Steve actually is a very good gardener so that is another thing that Steve does very well and something that I don't do very well so Steve is a very good gardener whilst I am not I'm not a good gardener I'm afraid I definitely don't have green fingers <laughs> unless I've been picking my nose Rakesh says what is this mr. Duncan do you mean what is this well this is the internet and sometimes on the internet you will find some very strange things you will find strange Englishmen drinking coffee in their gardens so that's what's happening at the moment have you ever eaten Vietnamese food I've never been to Vietnam so I suppose my honest answer would be no I haven't Bincy oh hello Bincy again apparently it is your first time here today so <laughs> would you like a round of applause okay welcome Bincy to my live stream <laughs> I 
<laughs> Shall we have some fireworks as well? Just for you, Bincy. Here are some fireworks as well. Kaboom! Welcome once again. Fatah is here watching in Malaysia. Hello to Malaysia. I know your country very well because I've been there. Many times I've been to Malaysia. A beautiful place called Penang. Very nice. Some of the nicest food in the world can be bought in Penang. Miss LA says hello from Barcelona. It is also my first time here live. Miss Ellie, wasn't there a character in a TV show called Dallas? Does anyone remember the TV program called Dallas? There was a character called Miss, Miss Ellie or Mrs. Ellie. So hello to Barcelona and also a round of applause for you as well. Even the sunflower is waving at you. Isn't that nice? So thank you, Mrs. Ellie, for being first or your first time here on the live stream watching in Barcelona. Also, we have Nikki. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Duncan. You are hilarious in a good way. <laughs> there are two types of funny. So when we say the word funny, it can be used in more than one way. So a person can be funny humorous it means they are very fun to be with they are funny but also if a person is funny it can mean that they are a bit weird a bit strange in the head maybe they have some sort of strange problem up there i know it's not very politically correct but that's what we do sometimes we normally say he's a bit funny i think he's a bit funny that means he's a bit strange but also it can mean you are very humorous and hilarious. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I am. Maybe a bit of both. Saeed says you speak really fluently and I understand you. Thank you. I like it. Thank you very much. I have been learning English all my life. All my life. In fact, when I popped out of my mum, I was speaking already. My first words were my God goodness it's cramped in there there isn't much room in there oh, oh this is much better yes I'm, I'm really glad to get out of whatever that was hello Saeed at the center and center have differences oh once again the spelling of certain words especially when we talk about American and British English are different so there are some variations between American English when it's written down and British English when it is written down so yes there are no differences in the actual definition but there is a difference in the spelling but the meanings are exactly the same hello also to Rakesh also to JC Geordi your image is slightly dark can you make it lighter I will try my best I'm not sure if I can make it much lighter because you might not be able to see me then I will be too bright so maybe you can turn turn it up on your screen let me just try something here I'm going to try something let me just see if this works oh suddenly oh that's a bit better isn't it is that better can you see me better now am I am I clearer now is that better I don't want to be too bright because it might it might blind some people I am on holiday at the moment says Palmyra uh, in Bulgaria my holiday is almost over and I will fly back tomorrow there is something sad about ending your holiday have you noticed I always feel a little sad on my final day on holiday so if you go away somewhere nice for your holiday on the final day on the last day you can feel a little unhappy a little sad maybe 
I hope the picture is a little brighter now sorry about that I do apologize I will try my best to be <laughs> shiny and bright on this Saturday Mr Duncan what do you put in your coffee I, I, I always have my coffee with milk of course and I always like to put brown sugar in my coffee because it tastes better so yes I do put sugar in my coffee some people don't like to have sugar in their coffee but I do I do have lots of sugar in my coffee and as you can see there it is can you see my coffee so it's not too dark and it's not too creamy so there it is there is my coffee hmm unfortunately it is actually gone cold it's actually gone cold now unfortunately Ugh. I don't like cold coffee hello from Brazil happy Saturday for you you have a very nice garden I love sunflowers because they help to feed the birds that is true yes because later there will be lots of seeds on the sunflower and then the birds can come and take them away good morning it is now after 7 30 in the US hello to the United States of America I hope everything is okay there across the pond <laughs> I love that expression across the pond when we say across the pond it normally means a person who is in another part of the world quite often on the other side of the world so we might say hello to everyone watching across the pond it means people who are watching very far away so hello to serene snow watching in the United States which state are you in where are you I would like to know I'm very nosy I'm very curious to find out where you are hello to Mahmoud Dawood or Dawood I have a very bad connection today and I can't hear you I'm very sorry to hear that but I hope you can watch me later maybe when I repeat the live stream so you can watch my live streams after they have finished so don't forget that I send all my love from Saudi Arabia says Salwa you are welcome thank you very much now this week I have had a lot of people watching in the Middle East I don't know why but last week I put a new full English lesson on my YouTube channel and I noticed that there were a lot of people watching it from the Middle East so a big hello to all those who are watching in Saudi Arabia and all the surrounding areas as well also a lot of people watching in places like Qatar and also across to Morocco as well in North Africa so the Middle East area I have a lot of people watching so a big special hello to you today Najet says I I like Sunday because I work are you working now though that's the big question hello Belarusia oh Belarusia I'm sorry about that I, I didn't actually see you there today hello Belarusia what's happened to Pedro Belmont now that is a very good question what has happened to Pedro Belmont no one seems to know he's disappeared I hope he's okay there because lots of news has been coming out this week from Brazil where there are literally thousands of forest fires not not hundreds but thousands I can't believe it and that has been a very controversial subject during the week because some people believe that the fires are being started deliberately and are a and they are being allowed to actually burn so a very controversial subject there and one that has been causing a lot of upset Khalil I am a little bit late today but it's nice to meet you Mr Duncan don't worry it's very kind of you to to drop by I always appreciate it 
also hello to Alam gear who says hello to Belarusia also we have oh apparently my camera looks better now thank you very much for that I can actually adjust my camera you see but earlier I actually had it on automatic so earlier it was actually on automatic but now I can alter the light manually so to do something manually means I can alter it by hand I can use my hand to change the settings I prefer your bright way okay <laughs> I'm glad we all agree on that Heber it is much better now your picture thank you very much I'm glad I look okay <laughs> although I, I do apologize for this I can't do anything about this some people say I look better in the dark I know the word realize and also the different spelling of realize one is British English and the other is American English but I never remember what is British and what is American the first one that you've written down is actually yes American English it's harmful according to doctors what's harmful uh, please tell me what's harmful please tell me quickly is it coffee maybe crisis or crisis 95 how big is your house can you show us your house <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to show you my house I don't think I'm ready to make that sort of commitment to be honest mr. Duncan hi sir from Eastern Laos do you know where it is yes I know Laos very well yes Alan gear apparently where Alam gear is watching it has started to rain and everyone seems very busy moving into their houses they are escaping escaping from the rain hello from Tenerife oh my gosh oh you are so lucky you are in Tenerife very nice I bet the weather there is lovely today hello to Roberto watching in Tenerife very nice a man is here watching in Egypt we seem to have a lot of people on today is it my imagination or is there a lot of people watching today on the live stream oh we have someone watching in the UK I always get very excited when I have a UK viewer hello from Bolton up north northern UK from Beth Bethana Bethana Abadawi Bethana Abadawi I hope I pronounce your name right and I hope you're having a super duper time here in the UK who knows you might even live here I don't know but if you want to share the information you are more than welcome to do so Mahmood Mr Duncan a very special hello from Egypt hello to Egypt I have a feeling that it's very hot there I think so do, do you like my sunflower isn't it lovely it's very friendly so I'm loving my sunflower today and I like the way it dances behind me it reminds me of those little flowers you used to get in the 1980s and they would dance when you played music they should bring those back we should have those again sea pearl says all this week the temperature will be 47 degrees is that Celsius oh my goodness that is hot so where sea pearl, sea pearl is watching it's going to be very hot I know in the southern United States they are having a heat wave at the moment as well so a lot of places around the world are really hot the temperatures are very high hello also to Oscar hello Oscar Oscar Miranda says hi from Bolivia that's very interesting and is it your first time you know sometimes I like to find out this sort of information I am often very interested to find out 
it's a beautiful day here here it is again the view this is looking into the distance and yes this is a live view I can prove it in fact I will prove it by waving in front of the camera so I will see if you can see my hand <laughs> did you see that so they're proving <laughs> that this is a live image because some people think that I'm cheating some people think that it isn't a live image but it is and there I just proved it Mahmood says can I ask you something please you are welcome to ask me a question it doesn't mean that I'm going to answer it but you can ask you can ask no problem so Mahmood what is your question please ask don't be shy give it a try you never know you might enjoy it <laughs> Mahmood Dawood says oh Mr Duncan I will relocate to the UK soon and I wish to meet you <laughs> I'm not sure about that I don't normally meet my viewers to be honest I don't normally meet my viewers I, I, I'm sometimes worried you see that you might want to marry me or maybe <laughs> some, something else <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing Francesca hi Mr Duncan how many meanings has how many meanings has kind of I'm not quite sure what you want me to answer there how many meanings of kind of oh I see kind of if something is kind of it means it is similar to or maybe it is in a certain way so you are actually referring to something to to actually being in that state or in that way it's kind of sunny today it's kind of breezy today so kind of means it is quite quite so you might be able to see that the wind is blowing so I could say that today it is kind of breezy kind of kind of it is similar to it is kind of breezy we can also say it is kind of you to do something for me so it is kind of you to offer to take me in your car to work it is kind of you so there are more than one ways of using kind of Talal says please send me your cat <laughs> I have had some strange requests in my time here on YouTube but I think that might be the strangest one please send me your cap do you really want this I like sunflowers very much I have a painting with sunflowers in my dining room really and that message comes from Belarusia I'm wondering now if it is the famous painting by Van Gogh or Van Gogh <laughs> because he liked to paint sunflowers did you know that Van Gogh or Van Gogh actually painted many versions of that famous sunflower painting there are actually many versions of it around so he he really did enjoy painting sunflowers very much so there is one particular painting by Van Gogh or Van Gogh that is quite famous and that is a painting of some sunflowers but in fact Van Gogh or Van Gogh liked painting sunflowers mm -mm -mm. what about Mr Steve is he okay Mr Steve is great today he's he's been up on the ladder this morning looking for cracks in the roof so this is a very good time of year to do lots of maintenance on the outside of your house so when it's dry and when it's warm it is a great time of year to actually go outside and go up a ladder and have a look at your house to make sure everything is okay 
so that's what mr. Steve has been doing this morning I'm here for the first time a very nice lesson from Colombia Alejandra Alejandra Agrida hello to you and can I give you a round of applause it is your first time here on the live chat well done thank you very much it's nice to see you here accent accent is here as well hello accent nice to see you here oh I think maybe at the moment in Spain I think it is very warm Jeff from the United States of America hello Jeff he was crazy Van Gogh was crazy he was a little crazy but he was also a very good painter so thank you Jeff yes Van Gogh actually cut one of his ears off please don't try that at home <laughs> Maz says please take off your cap why why do you want me to take off my cap the thing is if I take off my cap you might want me to take something else off afterwards and we can't have that we can't there might be adults watching Prism law says is there high temperature today the temperature here is about 27 Celsius so yes it's quite warm today it's very pleasant in fact I am really enjoying this weather the problem is it doesn't last very long that's the problem Belarusia says I have a Van Gogh painting or Van Gogh some people say Van Gogh and some people say Van Gogh hello to Belarusia I have a Van Gogh painting in my consulate office and I like the colors he used very much yes Van Gogh or Van Gogh often used very bright colors and also lots of contrast as well so warm colors but also he was a big fan of nature and especially this particular flower behind me he really did like sunflowers very much Francesca asks a very interesting question mr. Duncan can you explain the phrase let's get cracking let's get cracking when you say let's get cracking it means let's get on with it let's do it let's get cracking let's get down to work let's begin our chore let's do it let's get cracking it's a great expression Maz Khan asks do you like mangoes yes I like mangoes very much Mahmood is going by Mahmood I never found out what your question was what is your question you didn't ask the question I was hoping you would ask the question I've been waiting for your question where is your question Sergio says get your applause your last time in this horror I don't know what you mean by that <laughs> Sergio what do you mean please explain please elaborate Ooh, I like that word if you elaborate it means you make something clearer so maybe you say something but maybe the other person doesn't understand what you just said and so they might ask you to explain more about it you can say please elaborate elaborate please explain a little bit more about what you said Talia says eight years ago I lived in Bournemouth oh, yes a very nice seaside uh, a seaside town and I lived with my British family and I realized the British people are very nice like you I think so now sometimes people get the wrong idea about British people some people think that we are all horrible and mean whilst others who have a good experience with British people 
realize that actually British people are quite pleasant quite polite and generally very lovely did you visit Pakistan in your life asks Maz Khan I haven't I've never been to Pakistan Prez Prezi law asks could you read this on your screen dinosaur 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 I will say it again close to the microphone dinosaur a dinosaur what is a dinosaur a dinosaur is an old animal uh, that used to walk around the planet millions of years ago dinosaur we can also use the word dinosaur to describe something that is old and out of date so some people might say mr duncan's english lessons are very old-fashioned Mr. Duncan is a bit of a dinosaur. Actually, I am a bit of a dinosaur for various reasons. I have been carbon dated twice, at least twice. I must admit I did enjoy it. Hello to Connell. Hello, Connell. Mr. Duncan, are you doing it on purpose, ignoring me? Why, why, why? Please tell me. Connell, I am not ignoring you. Trust me sometimes i don't see the messages because they go very quickly on my tiny tiny my very small telephone device so that's the reason why but hello connell i am not ignoring you i would never do that never i mean if you get greetings applause you have the right for the final applause too oh i see okay then well a lot of people like applause they like to hear people clapping especially after they've given a performance I think so Palmyra asks Mr Duncan have you been to a place called Blackpool I have Blackpool is up in Lancashire it is a beautiful seaside town it has a famous landmark called Blackpool Tower you can search for it on the internet so Blackpool Tower and one of the things you will notice about Blackpool Tower is that it looks very similar to the Eiffel Tower so it is a bit like the top section of the Eiffel Tower <laughs> so Blackpool Tower yes many years ago Mr Steve and myself we went to Blackpool to stay there and just the other day I was looking at some old photographs of Steve and myself in Blackpool so yes I have been to Blackpool I have read a book called Planet Water by Boris Akunin today what about you I've never read that book I haven't is it about the environment is it maybe it has something to do with about, about the environment Mars Khan asks do you want to become a Muslim you mean me well I don't follow any religions whatsoever so I don't have any religion I don't follow any particular religion however in the morning when I wake up I open my eyes and I always have a big smile on my face so I suppose the thing I love doing is waking up in the morning and making the most of this this thing called life so no I don't follow any religions to be honest Oscar you are a new fashion teacher Mr Duncan it is a super class thank you Oscar that's very kind of you to say I have been doing this for 13 years on YouTube <laughs> did you know that I was the first ever English English teacher ever on YouTube it's true Agniska says hello from Wales hello Wales I can see you you're just over there if I if I go around the corner I can actually wave to you yeah can you see me I'm waving now there we go I'm waving can you see me waving hello Wales hi Wales yes it's true I'm not very far away from Wales 
apparently i i am from wales i live in wales and i planted some sunflowers in my garden i love sunflowers very much can you see there is a little there is a little wasp flying there it is can you see there's a little wasp hello hello mr wasp so yes i love sunflowers very much and thank you for your compliment about my garden isn't that lovely your sunflower reminds me of my dog why i'm very intrigued mr duncan have you ever read a book called holes i haven't no thank you dumb nuggets <laughs> i've never read a book called holes i've i've seen a few holes but i've never read a book called that hello also to sergio the eiffel tower is overestimated for marketing reasons sergio doesn't like the eiffel tower well there's a good chance that you won't like blackpool either because blackpool has a small eiffel tower it is very famous for it mr duncan i love you so much thank you gully herm or gully herm could you tell me mr duncan what going around the corner means i hear it a lot well if you go around the corner it means you you go from here to a place that is hidden away so maybe if you look over there you can see that if i go away i will go around the corner it means to go out of sight behind something especially a building so maybe you will go around the corner you will go out of sight or you might turn on a road so if you go straight ahead on a road and then suddenly you go that way you will turn around a corner you will turn around a corner quite often a corner is something you can't see beyond so quite often we think of a corner being something that you can't see beyond mr duncan please tell me how to understand the differences between two and enough well they are completely different words to be honest two can mean also enough means sufficient so actually they are they are actually completely different words so they don't have any similarities at all addy says the sunflower reminds me of my dog because he loved to go into the field and rest amongst the flowers isn't that lovely ah oh, that's a lovely memory thank you for sharing that with me today i am going in a moment i will be going in around about 65 seconds i can't believe it addy thank you very much for your lovely messages also to c pearl thank you for joining me today don't forget i am back tomorrow i will give you the live times here they are on the screen so i am live with you tomorrow sunday 2 p.m uk time so you can find me on youtube tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time so i will be back in around about 25 hours from now so from 25 hours to tomorrow i hope you have a super duper weekend i really do and if you want to follow me on facebook you can as well or you can email me and if you want to make a donation please that sounds ever so nice i would be very grateful if you could do that as well isn't that lovely so that's just about it from me for today i hope you've enjoyed it how many tea <laughs> how many children do you have mr duncan thank you khalil i have no children which is why i look so happy thank you very much to khalil for your question thanks also to talil francesca sergio thank you luis luis mendez watching in france thank you also to <laughs> dumb nuggets i'm very intrigued by your name 
so thank you very much for watching from the us of a the usa da, 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 hi from florida i i bet it's hot there at the moment because in in southern usa apparently the weather is pretty hot i think it's hotter than here agnieszka says yes also we can see you from the beach when the weather is beautiful like today oh apparently she can see me oh thank you very much agnieszka thank you very much to mars julie grow up grow up thank you very much for your lovely company today i am now going into town with mr steve we are going to have some lunch and then i will prepare for tomorrow's lesson as well one of the things we'll be talking about tomorrow what is your favorite piece of technology is there a piece of technology that you love now it doesn't have to be a mobile phone it doesn't have to be a tablet device it can be any type of technology or any invention so what is your favorite piece of technology what is your favorite invention the thing that you use quite often in your day-to-day -day life so that is one of the things we'll be doing tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching i am going now i will see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until tomorrow ta for now.